<clears throat> All right, y'all. serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. 
she could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. You trust me, I know. That's how I really, really spell. There's a chest here. It's above us. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. That's a big map. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Do you think they'd actually bring in a Dementor? I don't know where the one spelling on this. One of the best places with a Dementor. That's how Harry learned it. And their thread of Hello the there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Oh, I know where that is. Hmm. Sort of know where that is. <coughs> I would like to know how to do these or what to do with those. Thank you.
right here. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Well, looks promising. Lumos. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Revelio. It's behind it. Revelio. Accio. Ah, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. <clears throat> the Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. 
Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well? Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Let us not on your own. Defense against the dark arts can be intimidating. I can't believe Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be in the
There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Excellent. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. We just killed that key, bro. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Revelio. Incendio. Must we go back to practicing our scales? Um, what? Swallowed by a fraud, bro.
Revelio. Many of your parents. Stories I could tell you. Ugh, forgot to read the chapter for the This must be my. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit.
No, I didn't. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> they made a crop's breakfast out of you that round. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. I Good luck out there. What freaking let me heal? What that? Mm, that's bullshit. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. 
very well. Good luck out there. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. I'm flattered, but I don't deserve such an honor. Come now, you're the undisputed winner. You should revel in your accomplishment. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented glue powder. Rebellion. It's like a 
place right out of a storybook. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. I feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. <clears throat> I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I, I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My prices are low enough already, you see. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Damn. I didn't want to sell my deer, but I guess Hello, I have Mr. to. Seven. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today?
I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. See you again sometime. Seems a pleasant enough little place. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home.
Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! I hope you have your own. What's happening? Accurate. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? 
These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio. Oh, beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.
Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see.
Oh, it's great. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> when you like some margaritas with your margaritas. Yeah, yeah Mary made them. You okay?
but she only made one can of them. The hell happened to this can? No, I'm sorry. Careful, buddy. I want you to fall. You're adorable, cat. I realize my mic wasn't muted at all. I love exploring. I wonder who lives here.
Grace, what was it you needed my help with? I was hoping you could dive down and retrieve a treasured family astrolabe lost during a doomed stargazing cruise. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. And the health potion. What the red? Is that an enemy? Oh, that's an enemy. That's a no no. Grace, I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. right out of a storybook. If you're here for my wares... After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Revelio.
Eight legs is simply too many. Rebellion. What do you have in store for me this time? Incendio! Lumos! Levioso! This must be it. You haven't had mushroom stew. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter.
Only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Here's a pleasant surprise. Yeah.
Revelio. That was quite something. Now, to free Arn's carts. Incendio. Revelio. Could it be a Merlin trial? Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to Arn. <laughs> Rebellion. Repair it. Incendium.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. If you're here for my wedding... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all yeah. that is good between us. Yeah. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. To be No for a fact. I've got more pants. What's showing here? All right, guys. I'm going to call it quits here and take <clears throat> a short break. I will be back.